guys, Penn here from the Chris Packet Project. Just back again showing you a survival sheet. Uh, I've basically fused uh, both sides of your survival Chris Packet, one by four by 11 Chris Packets, regular size, 100 centimeters by 200 centimeters. So you can use any Chris Packets you want. Um, and I'm just checking over now for any bits that I've missed. Um, any bits, I don't know if you can see that. Just wanna make sure that's nice and thick, fused down. Any holes you can see, patch them up. We want it to last, you know? We don't want it to go out there and be like a five minute thing on the street. So we wanna make sure that these are good and the plastic isn't too thin that you're using because once it's in a crisp packet, it will break the plastic up if the plastic is too thin. So we want to make sure these last because we don't want to make more of a problem than um, our communities already have with litter. So, um, so I'm just going over, just checking any bits that need fusing down. And then I'm checking also that I've got three fingers, um, which is about three, nearly three inches all the way around, two, two and a half, three inches all the way around. So it's fused together. Let's check in here. Beautiful. Right, and then we're going to turn it over. Oh, there's a bit there, look. We're going to turn it over and check the other side as well. I just want to do that bit there. <laughs> Okay. Can you see that bit there? I don't know if you can see that. We're going to fuse that bit there. Sit. The reason we fuse, try and fuse it all like this is because if you if it gets cool, then it will rip. But if it's fused onto the crisp packet it's less likely that it's going to get caught on anything like that. So it's all like one unit then, yeah? Holy oh. Right. Let's just check anywhere else. Can you see anywhere else? Just a bit there. We are nearly there. Then what I think is really nice if you get, or you could do it before you fuse your plastic, is to write on the silver side of your crisp packet with a permanent marker just a nice little note of uh you know just to uplift these less fortunate um people in your community because i think it's really good to um send out positive love into the universe and um help people especially when they're at their lowest in their in their lifetime um so i was put made with love uh, from the Chris Packet project, um, but some of my volunteers write little messages. And when I was doing the touring, um, I got everyone to put a nice little message on their sheets as well, or their biffy bags. Um, as I said to you before, when the uh, you lovely lot send in your um, Chris Packets, you're most welcome on the uh, washed and opened ones to write a little, um, the less little note on them and then obviously then we can add them into what we're creating here which would be really lovely right so that's pretty much i think done so then i would get a pair of scissors and i would just um, cut where it's fused right the way around don't want it too big okay just where it's fused There we go. All right, see, it's fairly neat. Move the coffee. <laughs> okay, right the way along here. Beautiful. Round the boat. I need to fuse. 
I'll come back to that in a sec. Right the way along. Nearly there. And again. Beautiful. And there's a little bit along here somewhere. And we just glue that down. There we go. There's a survival sheet. All ready for the streets and safe. Put a lovely little note on it. Um, these can be folded up quite small. Um, again, have a little work with it. Get it smaller and smaller as you go. But um, they're pretty quick at getting really small and then I would just tie it up with again a bit of your wasted plastic that you uh, have created there <clears throat> and I would probably just iron yeah, that's quite good that end you see how that's fused so you can fuse that down again just to get a nice long bit just try and not waste anything really and then you've got the odd little bits together just fuse it all together because we don't want it all blowing around in the universe we want it all in one one spice you know bad enough out there to uh, even add even more bits floating about everywhere okay and then so i'll probably cut it back here it's great to have good sharp scissors i never had good sharp scissors in the art shack they uh, always get blunt very, very quickly. And then we're going to go right the way up here like this. Beautiful. So then you have, you know, fairly, fairly good strap. Not the best, but you know, you see what I'm meaning. And then we can use that. To wrap around. Okay, there we go. And there's one ready for the streets. 